What's going on, everybody in the building, man? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again, and we are at SHOT Show day one. I'm gonna bring you guys and girls around this whole entire day. We got a couple of interviews, a couple of people we're gonna talk to. We're also just gonna walk around, see all the guns, see all the fun, see everything that comes along with it. And we'll also drop dedicated videos on this channel with specific brands that I greatly appreciate, that support the channel, and that I like. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, everybody, man? So we're down here right now with Atlas Gunworks. We got my man, David Wamp. David Wamp. David Wampo. Wampler. Wampler in the building, and I wanted him to go over the brand new Apollo and EOS. Is it? Yes, the okay. brand new Apollo and EOS. So this is the Apollo right here. What it's going to be? It's going to be very familiar to the wherever my Athena is on the lineup. But as far as the Apollo goes, this is a 4.6 inch barrel. Um, it's going to have the aluminum frame, the Atlas grip, or the Alpha grip on it. It is, as far as an even very well responding shooter, it's very flat returning. It's going to give you with the popper holes, or not popper holes, but with the with the with the ported barrel. Okay. It's going to give you very 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 positive recoil impulse. As far as a 124, 115 grain bullet, this is gonna be the shooter that you really want. This is the brand new one. Now let me find the, see if he's messing around with the EOS or the- yep, and, and, uh, and when I was talking to Tony earlier, this will come with the clear coating and the, the, uh, the is it DLC or yes. as well? Yep. So you can have the option of that? You have two options and then you also have the options for the, like uh, the yeah. two-toned. Yes. You know what I'm saying? As for, you see this one, this one's set up in two-toned and this one's set up in all black. Got you, got you. So let me- and What's the MSRP on this one? So the MSRP on this one is, that's the Apollo, that's 6300. 6, yes. Let me see. Well, yeah, we, we, so next up we have is the EOS, which is more of a concealed carry or a carry. Concealed carry. This has got so this this the the Apollo had the aluminum grip on it. Yeah. This one has the steel grip. This one also takes the 126 millimeter or 126 120 millimeter mags, the flush fit. Okay. okay. How many how many rounds is that? Then 15. Uh, I want to say it's 15 plus one. 15 plus one. Um, with that being said, this is a 4.25 inch gun. This is a steel grip. So it will be heavier than than the aluminum. Yes, this is six ounces heavier. Okay. With that being said, six ounces will be real. This is going to be our premier carry gun now. Okay. All right. The, the NYX, the NYX, I believe was the previous one. This was the previous one. Gotcha. Correct. This is the the next next, the, the gotcha. next in line, right? Gotcha, gotcha. So what that's going to be? It's basically what it's doing is it's adding the steel grip to the gun. Okay. And then it's also adding the porting to the gun as well. Gotcha, All right, gotcha. and it's just a little bit different slide cuts. Okay, and these are both out uh, now, correct? Yes. Okay. Yep, you can go on the, actually, if you go on our website and you look up the dealers, you'll see them there all over. Yeah, the that's one thing I like about uh, Atlas. If you go to the actual website, because people always say, like, y'all don't, they're never in stock, but they literally have a dealer's list of what is available, is. all, like, what specific one's available, what color it is, there all that. Configuration. Yeah, you so. Can call them up and see kind of what they have, um, and kind of like some we're going to have, and, and keep in mind, too, it, if, if you get a gun that maybe doesn't have the right trigger length that you like or anything along those lines, you can still, for a small price, swap, swap, swap the parts out. Got you. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, and it's, it's very um, he said down the road, maybe y'all will be offering different colors for these type of safety mechanisms or something so so yes and no yeah um that that that's an it might be an option later on okay i can't really speak to that these are like i said available now um definitely would like to get my hands on one sooner than later i i, I kind of like i honestly like both of them but i've been wanting to see how uh the carry is the overall because yeah. i know like you know conceal carry 2011 that's like that, that's perfect dream, right you know even just carrying like yes. you can carry all of these but we know the yeah. you know conceal that is uh definitely nice so one more question i wanted to ask um because i remember now i shot the erebus and this is of course like an ex like an expansion uh comp yes it's a, it's a comp thing as far comp, as like yeah well what would i feel different when it's like that when this is within the actual barrel 
how does that feel different wise you feel at least because these are this is a ported barrel well this was not a ported barrel it's more it's a weight in a comp so, for, so so first and foremost what i would say is this is putting the weight a little bit further forward so you're the, the balance of the gun okay. as far as the weight bias Got okay it. now the porting here allows for the gun to be just a little bit shorter okay but still getting a lot of the characteristics that you would get out of a fully comped type of gotcha does it you make sense this on that it'll be front it'll be front it'd be a little bit front heavy yeah. it, it would be but i mean but but even then i would still say as far as the weight characteristics towards the back of the gun yeah. the gun this gun for me is still very important yeah. even though it has a little bit of that single port cock now this is coming from a guy who shoots open right so i should yeah. open division with the full chaos yeah the v2 and so and with the way i have that gun set up too it's very neutral so as far as the weight bias goes even though we have a comp forward and not just you know and not having the porting the same yeah. i still think the guns point just about the same okay cool cool yeah I, I, as far I, as recoil impulse goes i still think they're they're going to respond very 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 closely okay. i've shot this i loved it the titan i really liked it i mean it, this is definitely top of the line but i feel like this is like a sleeper because it's the intro like the intro so, in we'll so so in so in competition i shoot the athena all right okay which one is that one so the athena is where are we at uh, it looks to be about your there it is. So here's the Athena. This is the one I won Virginia State Championship with. Okay. I really like this gun. Salute to VA. My, my friends from Virginia Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for <laughs> VA State Championship. So this is the gun I, I shot and won that match with. This is a very fast returning gun. As far as coming from a race gun perspective yeah. goes, I like the very the fast recoil impulse, yeah. the fast, re really quick return. Yeah. When you're shooting the Artemis in 9mm, it's got the... It's got the uh, the sight block on it. It's a little bit as it kind of dead blows a little bit more. A lot of people really like the feeling of that in, that recoil impulse. Okay. It settles the gun down a little bit. It's a little bit, but for me, I like that fast hit because I'm really in the palm because that's yeah. what I'm used to shooting. Now, when we come bringing it all back to the Titan RDS, I find this to kind of split the difference. It has a very fast recoil impulse, like for the like the Athena does. Yeah. But it's also it doesn't have the the for me the dead blow as much as what the Artemis does in nine. So as far as what I like in my personal preference goes in yeah. the way in the, how I like a gun to feel, especially in recoil impulses and how the gun's going to respond and, and track for me. Yeah. I'm telling you, at the Titan RDS is, is a you, very you're professional good game. with yes. this, and I'm just a, a novice, and, and I, like I said, I really like this. But when I shot this, it was just. I don't know. It's just solid. It's just it solid. is, and it's a great price point. Yeah, and I don't know. Like like you said, when it racks, when it racks, when it goes back, and then when the rack goes forward, it it, it puts you right back down where you yes. started. Yep. This is like it's a, a little, little like a little tap basically yes but I, like you said you, sometimes i like that response i like that feel of that you know you want that, that feeling in your palm yeah so 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 like and that's the thing a lot of people are like they talk about how the gun like responds as far as the recoil impulse goes right and as far as how the gun feels like they like everyone talks about the guns the flat the flat the flat the flat yeah. for me it's all about really it's not necessarily how the gun how flat the gun tracks it's how well it tracks and returning straight into, yeah, and how, gotcha. how how well it returns mm -hmm. but then the, the, re, the impulse and i'm feeling my hand gotcha. you know what i'm saying yeah and that's something you're gonna get especially when you throw a lot of rounds down range too all right exactly. appreciate it man thank you david for sure yes david atlas, atlas gunworks all right y'all so we're here with detroit gunworks they have here two brand new rifles i actually have seen on the shot show app and i actually wanted to make this one of my favorites to come check it out because these things look uh pretty heavy duty so i'm here with uh michael yes so what's, what's what we got right here what's the one? so this is our hitsville so this is our more six five creedmoor more competition based precision rifle okay what we're making is the action we're making that in-house okay. we're holding the tolerances on that to half a thousandth of an inch we're turning the barrels it's a pre-fit barrel so you get the barrels from us it will head space when torqued to the proper spec so you can change your calibers at home if you want to and this is in 6.5 Creedmoor, This correct? is in 6.5 Creedmoor. And then we have a 26 inch barrel? Or what is this it? is a 24 inch barrel. 24, okay. Uh, half MOA guarantee on the barrel. Okay. 5,000 round barrel life for the 6.5. Okay. And then for the 308, we are guaranteeing uh, about 20,000 rounds barrel life on the 308. Okay. And these are in the KRG. Do they come in these specific chats so you can swap it out? You can swap it out. see that was the MTD and then you got the KRG. Okay. KRG, you can pick either. Okay. In either the Hitsville or the Sherwood. We're calling okay. this the Sherwood, the Sherwood. Eight, 18 inch 308. Hitsville. Sherwood, Sherwood, and then what's this guy here? That's the that that's another Sherwood, just okay. in an MDT chassis. Okay, so you can pick. So the Sherwood's yeah, okay, my bad. So the 
the Sherwoods are the three in the three oh eights, correct? The yeah. Sherwoods the three oh eight. This is eighteen. Was it eighteen inch barrel? Exactly. That's our targeted uh, targeted LE okay. and mill rifle. Okay. For department use, things of that nature. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not in that, but I did like this rifle. But it is still <laughs> available to civilians for for purchase. Obviously, okay. Okay. it's just that's our plan for that one. All right. So yeah, man, I really did like this rifle. I saw it on the app. They're right next door to Atlas Gun Works as well, and uh, you know, I think. Um, this year and even last year like a lot of the we've seen a lot of bolt gun bolt gun companies coming out and i really did like this right here so i'll definitely uh give you guys a look you know i appreciate that one thing i wanted your uh, audience to know is this how the if they buy one how they get it so you're getting it with the case you get three mags and it is broken in for you so we're doing six week delivery times and we break in the barrel for you. We give you all your dope, your muzzle velocities, so you don't have to do any of that work okay. as far as figuring out what ammo. And you likes. said, was it was the MOA guarantee or what? half MOA guarantee with the factory match ammunition? Okay. Uh, we're using Norma primarily for that. Uh, but if you love a certain round, we'll go do that testing for you. Okay. And that all comes with that six week delivery time. All right, cool, cool. Well, thank you. Appreciate thank it, Mike. You. Yep, yep. All right, y'all, so we're down here with High Speed Gear. I'm with Julia, and she was gonna give me a little look around because I've been doing some gear videos for y'all that y'all been asking for from, you know, chest rigs, battle belts, uh, plate carriers, and they have all this, and they're actually have a, they actually have a store in Alpharetta in Georgia, so I definitely wanna come down to the facility sooner or later, but I wanted to, I'll let, you know, let you kinda tell me a little bit what you guys have here and what you're offering. Yeah, absolutely. So we are with a High Speed Gear Products Group, which includes High Speed Gear, CompTAC, and Black Point, Tactical, Crucial, concealment so we offer everything from everyday carry holsters to duty level three holsters battle belts core plate carriers and of course high speed gear which is famous for the taco which are magazine pouches um to kind of touch on the holsters we've got crucial concealment okay so this is concealed carry of course yep you got your outside the waistband inside the waistband and then we've got the combo so you can switch out between both with um both clips on the back Okay. If you come around on the other okay, side here, my card, this is kind of what Comtac's big for right now is this level three CC3 holster. So it's, you know, level three retention. It is uh, got, you can do an optic cover. You've got your hood and it is one of the fastest holsters on the market. Uh, fits many optics and light uh, compatibility. And what else? Black point. Again, more everyday carry. You've got your standard OWB and then your leather wing, which this is my favorite personally from Black Point. It curves around the body, so amazing. And, and you offer these, like I see, like we have a Glock here and like how many yep. different? Oh, there's everything. there is tons. Okay. So on the websites, um, you can, you know, kind of almost in a way build Customize your own. Gotcha. Exactly, there's so many different colorways. This one has like a light right here. Yep. Gotcha. And then you've got, um, our Outback, so we, for Black Point, they do have a chest carry capability. Zaya? Zaya. He's been wanting to get something that's, that he can like have around this area. Absolutely, and um, if you go around back at some point, they've okay, got yeah, those up top. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, um, and then more- So these are, just the, these are just the holsters you got, of course, exactly. right here, the, the battle belts, yeah. the belts, yeah. the duty belts right here. Oh yeah, there's plenty. So this is our new wall over here. Oh, wow. This is everything that um, is new this year. So we've got the Gen 2 Tacos. It's more of a sleeker look, which kind of is a mix between the original and the Duty Taco. Um, we've got the side brackets that now have um, integration for your bungee cords. We've rounded out the top of the brackets, so it's not as harsh anymore. And in, in, uh, Bill was saying this is majority of this is made out in Swansboro? Yep, Swansboro, Swansboro, North Carolina is where all of our nylon products are made. Okay. This is a new thing we're offering this year too, is Mini Molly. Oh, wow. Um, so you can mount it to anything, belt, chest rig. I, there's so many integrations you can do. The universal clips or even ABM Velcro one wrap. New shoulder pads this year. Is that, are you hooking it on or is, that ma is it magnet? Those are magnets. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh, this is our duty line. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, I'm not in duty, but no, understandable. <laughs> but nice. Yeah, very nice. Very sleek. It's great for law enforcement. Okay. Our poly line, which okay, is hard. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Polymer and super sleek. And then I guess this is more so in the line, kind of duty, but yeah. So yeah. this is our like uh, I fat, tech I fat. and stuff like that. So we've got like our navigator tech pouch, phone flips out. Okay, and yeah. 
use for maps or anything like that. See, I pretty much cover everything as we're yeah, seeing here. Absolutely. Very, very nice. Uh, this is more of our competition area when it comes to mag pouches. Super okay. fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay. can do um, left and right, and um, they are adjustable retention for whatever magazines that you're needing. Okay. Yeah. And then look, you got your bag, look, on, behind the bag. Okay. Yeah. And but this is more just like what lifestyle or what would you, I mean, this is like an outback, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Just, um, my dad wears one to hunt. Got he you. Can't, he'll carry one under his jacket, his hunting okay. jacket, so. And uh, you got a store in Atlanta, of course, yeah. but what's your web, like y'all guys' website? Yeah, so um, to check out all the brands, it's hsgibrands.com. Okay. We've got highspeedgear.com, comptact.com, blackpointtactical.com, and crucialconcealment.com. And you'll definitely be seeing some of the their products on the channel very soon, because we definitely want to do some more gear videos you guys have been asking for it and uh, i appreciate you thank yeah, you absolutely so nice to meet you guys yep. thank you all right y'all so we are here at pws right now with Corey, the creator of is it the i've seen different exchange of the uxr the uxr yep. the creator of it the, the man that made it that's why i just I'm, it's not just like a random guy that's telling us all about it the guy that made the gun himself so i appreciate you taking the time yep. can you tell me a little bit about it because it's not just your typical gun it's uh it's all different pieces of a gun that you can pretty much build together. It's like a Lego gun almost. Exactly. So this is a UXR by PWS. And the, what makes this rifle truly unique is it's capable of going from 5.56 to 308 in one weapon platform with all the calibers in between. Now, it's very modular. Now, uh, in the past, the industry has um, said that they had modular guns but really never delivered. So we're delivering this right off the bat with 5.56, 300 blackout, 308 right from the beginning. And then I have other calibers I'm delivering um, every quarter. So we're working on 6.5 Creedmoor, 8.6 uh, Blackout, 7.6 239. Okay. So um, I'd like to break this down and kind of go through uh, maybe yeah, some of the yeah. future benefits. But uh, really, on this weapon platform, you have a folding stock, you have an adjustable length of pull, you have a quarter inch on the cheek piece up and down. Okay. Um, moving forward, I have an AR-15 compatible grip, an AR-15, AR-10 compatible trigger, and all my controls here are ambidextrous. I have a bolt catch, a bolt release, magazine uh, release. Now, um, what makes this weapon truly fun and unique is I can come in with a 532nd Allen wrench and loosen these three clamp screws, and I only have to loosen it approximately a turn and a half. Once Loosened, I pull the bolt out of the lock and I can remove the barrel right out of the front. Now, there's a lot of neat technology right here in this barrel. I'll just kind of walk you through it real quick. We hold on to five inches of the shank of the barrel. This gives us a repeatability within a half minute every time of where I sighted that in. I have a three position gas block and an evacuation chamber. The way the evacuation chamber works is when I'm shooting suppressed or high, high speed firing, as a bullet comes past, it pressurizes this section. When the bullet leaves the muzzle, I have angled vented ports that uh, the depressurized gas moves forward, forms a vacuum or a venturi, and moves all that nauseous gases for so you're not getting it in the face. Wow. And that's, I mean, and that's, um unsuppressed already because I mean, when it, when it's that's one of the main issues with suppression so you're already doing it yes. while it's already unsuppressed you're already getting the benefit yes we want this gun to be kind of a do all Safe. yeah um, what's neat is I can come down with my takedown pin I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a push I can remove my fire control unit right off the back end gotcha. so here you can see that we have um, a, a, a trigger tech two and a half to five pound adjustable single stage trigger gotcha um, we and have and I gotta say, I actually did my, a little bit of my research, which, I, which the reason why this gun is, is dope because this is not the serialized part. That's correct. So you can easily swap out the different, you might be like, how, how can I fit, you know, uh, 308 magazine in here because none of this is serialized, so. Yes, and then what I think is the neatest part of this weapon right here is I slide this back and I have a, a mag well that I can adjust. So this is yeah. set up for a regular uh, AR-15 Stanek style magazine. Here I have another conversion that will go to the 308. <laughs> That's what SR25. I even have a conversion that will turn it into an 8K with Rocker Max. Wow. And, and I have a version here we can look at here in a minute. Once that's removed, all I had to do is come in the back, remove my action spring, remove my bolt carrier groove. Now, my bolt carrier groove, you know, I just break down with the same pins like you would do with an AR-15. I can just change out my bolt head. 
So my okay. conversion kit really is my bolt head, okay. my, my mag well, and my barrel. So the carrier group on a 308 and a 556 is the same the as exact the bolt same. head? Okay. The recoil spring, everything is the same. Just okay. not, not What is the, uh, com I've seen that the conversion kits are range around like 500 MSL pre which, yeah. what is that? Is that a, ma what is that all, a barrel mag well? Like what is that? Very, a barrel, mag well, and a bolt head is your conversion kit for about okay. 550. The okay. gun itself runs about $2,500. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, this, this is a billet aluminum upper receiver. I have a titanium trunnion with stainless steel rails in here. And this is the serialized portion like you were mentioning, so I can build any configuration I want on this. I, um, to change out the handguard, it's one pin and I can drop forward. Gotcha. I can move the charging handle to either side, and so now we're ready to move, move and, and build. Now, right here, you can see that I got a single dot on my extractor. On my conversion kits, if you look, they have symbols. So that one's a single dot versus a 5.56 five, that might have two dots. Ah, okay. So that way I can kind of keep my conversions straightforward. Gotcha. I can come forward right here, enter in the magwell in my, my slot, give it a little karate chop, drop mm -hmm. in my bolt carrier group, come in with my action spring right from the top, and it's going to come in and lock into the stainless steel rails right here. Like, Drop in my it's like trigger pack. Pack. Hit my, my lot down pin. The next thing that I'm going to do is take my barrel, come in forward, get inside the trunnion, it snaps in. And as so long as I come in here and tore this with 80 inch pounds uh, in the same sequence in which I sighted it in. I'm ready to go with my, my same zero on my scope. And I see the barrel is 223 wild, not 5 us, which, which is a plus in my opinion. Yes. So yeah. Yep. That's a bit. And so, uh, check. And so you can see I can hold back the bolt. I can drop the bolt uh, and, and run like that. Wow. Okay. The, the rifle itself is 6.85 pounds. Retails for $2,500. The conversion kit, which is the barrel, the bolt, and the magwell, runs about $550 and you can build a multitude of different uh, configurations, whatever you like and, to do. And just because I'm, I'm not a professional at it, but is, what kind of a uh, gas system is this? Is this short stroke or so? So or? it is a what we call a modified long stroke. Long, so okay. PWS is, is known for its long stroke, almost like the AK. Yeah. Um, short stroke or tappet systems tend to, to move about a half inch. They impact the carrier, use inertia and drive it rearward. Gotcha. What we wanted to do is, is we wanted the legacy of our long stroke. So we, we actually push a full inch. We do a long shove and it gets through the canning process of the bolt head and sends that bolt carrier back so the recoil impulse you feel is really, really light. Got you, got you. All right, cool, man. And um, non-reciprocating? Non-reciprocating yeah. charging handle, um, ambidextrous. Will this be available in shorter barrels with a like pistol brace, pistol, yeah. whatever down low? In, in fact, um, just right here on the other shelf, I have a 10 and a half and an AK I'd like to show you if you have yeah, a minute. Yeah, let's go. All right. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. So, so right here we're sitting with a, a, a ten and a half inch. Okay. This is set up in, in a in a five by six. Right here is a magwell conversion for a rocker mag. Uh, yeah. So I can come in and I got my rocker mag ready to rock and roll. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, this has definitely been when I seen it. And I don't know, did you do the did you do the actual video? The what? The video for this that when they premiered it. I did. Some, that was you. Yes. You're on YouTube, right? Yes. Okay, I did see the. As I'm saying, yeah, Perfect. I watched it. It was amazing. I really like the system. I think that going with the upper like serial, that's what that's the game changing. Like the, the just the changing out and then down the road like. With these pieces, you can just go even further. Like it's not like you're gonna have to come out with a whole another something. You can just literally just change the parts out. It's almost like bits and pieces. So I definitely see a lot coming from this. Exactly. In fact, we wanted to make this future proof when we did the design. So we put a titanium trunnion with a tongue and groove interface here. So now I can do underslung shotguns. I can do underslung uh, grenade launchers or anything else wow. to be attached here very yeah. easily. The weapon itself, we, we're testing to what we call the uh, Army Top Test, and that we go through the environmentals where we drop it in the sand the mud, the water, and go through all that and make sure we go high endurance because when we deliver this firearm platform, yeah. we want it to really last for everyone. Great. 
and these are available now in uh, 556, 223, 300 blackout, 762 by 39, and, and 308. 308. And so 762, 39, 86 okay. blackout, and 65. Oh, 86 blackout. Okay. Yep. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, thank you. All right. All right, y'all. So we are here at Primary Arms Optics, and I got my man Steven. This is the guy right here. You probably seen him recently over on Primary Arms, explaining all the new product that they are bringing out here for Shot Show and bringing into the uh, Q1 of Discovery, right? Or is it Q2? Uh, Q2. Q2. Yeah, Discovery. we're looking at everything's okay. going to hit. Okay. Yeah. Well, my first question, because I remember you was showing the. I remember seeing this like through the uh, the blogs. The GLX, the uh, red dye, is that out now or is that the coming RS15. out? Yeah, so right. it's going to be available to purchase extremely soon. Um, we're okay. talking within a month. So okay. it's finally out. I know, you know, we so announced it last year. You didn't, you didn't announce it like, or talk about it this year at all? Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, we talked about it last year, so that was kind of the big announcement. And gotcha. everybody knows about it at this point. We know everybody knows because they're hitting us up through social. Like, where's it at? Where's it at? We know it kind of took a while, but we wanted to make sure it was perfect. Gotcha. And it is now. So, yeah, it's good. very, very soon. Good, good. Because I do like that. I have the RS, the RS15, I believe, is the RS10. RS10, RS my bad, RS10. I yep. um, like that one a lot, but I did like the GLX, of course. But we do have here the uh, brand new. Is this the uh, the PLX Compact? And this is the one eight to twenty four. Yes, yep. Okay. The new PLX Compact second focal plane, one to eight. Um, everybody knows our first focal plane. The big kind of critique everybody had about it was they wanted it to be brighter. So we were able to put our ACSS Nova reticle in this. So it's the fiber wire that we have. In the I have the uh, the SLX version and I love it. The red dot, like, right? Yeah, ridiculously red dot, bright. Yeah, really red good. dot bright. So yeah. you can turn this thing down to one and run it like you would a traditional red dot. Mm -hmm. um, or you can crank the magnification up where the reticle is calibrated for it, 8x. And you can still mill, you can still do bullet drops, you can still do all that stuff. Um, but it's, it's like LASIK level bright. It is an extremely bright. So I, when I saw your video, um, and you put, uh, when I saw your video, I seen the comments, and I, I haven't checked yet because I just got off a flight. But when are these gonna be on the website? Because that's what everybody was saying. That's yep. I mean, <laughs> these will be available Q2 as well. So okay. you'll see. Um, There'll be a pre-order that goes up, okay. and uh, yeah, there are, everything's dropping Q2. Okay. So Q2 is where everything is yeah. dropping. So everybody's gonna be asking in the comment section. Q2. That means uh, what's that? That's at the March, March time, March, April. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah March. We're looking yeah. March, March, April, May, yeah, May, time May time. yeah. So uh, stay tuned for that. And then next, we got another one here. Yep. So this is kind of the bigger brother. So. We did our SLX 1 to 10 last yeah, year. The, yeah, okay. We had the same thing for that. Everybody wanted something super, super bright. So we put the Nova reticle in the SLX 1 to 10. Okay. So you have the massive magnification range of a 1 to 10 yeah. with the capability to shoot it at low power with that Nova reticle turned on for that true red dot bright. I, I have dot. the SLX, I believe it's like the 1 to 6 Gen 4, right? Yeah, that's the one we yeah, came out with last what's, year with the Nova. The, I know it's probably over here, but mm -hmm. I, what's the length, I guess? How much longer is this? This is so, 1 to 10, so I'm just Yeah, this is a 1 to 10. This is, we're looking just over an inch longer, inch so longer? it's not much. Okay. And That's then um, weight, we're looking maybe another two ounces okay. over the older one. Makes sense. So but for its size, it's a 34 mil tube, 28 it objective. Is bulky, but I like bulky. Yeah. It looks durable, you know. Oh, it is. Not it's, cheap it's, at all. So it's yeah. definitely a, a, a tough optic. I mean, we test them all on Scar 17s. That's what we do all our recoil so testing on. I'm seeing so something, same. and maybe I'm wrong. Um, I did recently get from you guys. I was one of the first people that do the shake weight feature. Will these be coming with those sooner or later, or is that? Just oh, the auto light battery. Auto, yeah. Yep. Is, is that in that? Uh, no? It is not in the SLX. That's so great. if you want the auto live, you, you got to do cap. the auto live battery cap gotcha. um, in the one to ten or the, the one to sixes, any of those. But the PLX and the GLX series all have auto live built okay. into them, so you okay. don't need it. That's not bad, still. Like I said, those caps are groundbreaking in my opinion. Simple, super simple, but like yeah, there's nobody like, thought of. Before. Yeah, exactly. You can add it right. to your optic, and now exactly. you never have to turn it off. You can leave it in that. And it comes with the throw lever too, or no? Uh, it comes with a standard. 90 degree throw lever. We put our okay. UMLs on there to show that they're compatible with the UMLs. So okay, it's just gotcha. a kind of a keystone footprint on there. All of our new stuff coming out yeah. is compatible with that. So you can actually adjust the length of these things. You can shorten them up. You can make them longer, um, fold them down, and they don't snag on it. This is featuring the uh, SLX mount, right? Yep, our new the SLX new cantilevers. Got you, got you. So four new cantilever oh, mounts and tw or 30 and 34 millimeter. And then we have a suite of accessories with them as well. So for everybody who knows our MROM, uh, that offset reflex mount for yeah. our micro prisms, we're yeah. doing it for our cantilevers now. Okay, yeah, I uh, really like the, the uh, PLX bodies. mount you guys got. So I appreciate that y'all made it look, you know, the same. The, line, the look overall is very solid. Like I really like. Yeah, look, super so. lightweight, um, very solid, and super very affordable. Affordable, too. super yeah. affordable. Yeah, and um, I guess a couple of these things right here. These are the new, the new red dots you guys have as well, right? 
Yeah, so we've got our, this is uh, one of our new MD21s. Uh, we actually have four of these. So we do the two GLXs and two SLXs. Okay. The big difference between the GLX and the SLX, the GLX has a solar failsafe. The solar failsafe, it sounds like it's a backup to the battery, but really, the majority of the time that solar panel is going to be running the dot and yeah. then the battery is a backup. This extends it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. even in light like this inside, yeah. there's enough light running to power it. Gotcha, so gotcha. it's very, very efficient. Um, the SLX, we got rid of the solar panel on it. It just runs off but, the battery yeah. and we move the buttons on top. So gotcha. it's kind of ambidextrous button use. Um, two different reticles, we're doing them in a two MOA dot or our new ACSS CQB which you can actually select which elements are on or off in that reticle through pushing the buttons. So if you just want the Chevron, you can just have that. If you want the Chevron and Horseshoe, Chevron and BDC, or everything okay. on all together, yeah, you can you. hit the buttons and cycle through them. Gotcha, yeah, I like that. I have the, MD, uh, the uh, MD25, right? Yes, that, one that guy right there. Yeah, so it's a little bit smaller, but I like the look over on this side. And then last was, was the new uh, Prism, right? Yep, so our new GLX 1X micro prism. Everybody loves the SLX 1X. It's that cure for an astigmatism, right? Yes. You can see a sharp reticle no matter what. I just love the fact you can use it without the, the, the red dot as well. Like the X. Yeah, I, love I mean, that. if you have a power failure or anything like that, yeah, you don't need backup iron sights anymore. Exactly. There's always something there to look at. I love at. that. Um, and this, so we've got rid of the rheostat on the side. So even though the body's larger, overall footprint is smaller. Um, there's less stuff hanging off the side of the gun. The push buttons are kind of located high, so you can manipulate either right or left-handed. Uh, battery compartments on the top to make sure we maintain that narrow profile. And then the eye relief on this thing is basically like unlimited. We could set this thing on top of here and back up 30, 40 feet. You can still see through that optic, see through the reticle and engage. Oh, wow. So if you're running on an AK, like forward based on an Ultimac or anything like that, uh, gotcha. you can really put it on anything. All right. And uh, we don't have to go into it, but I'm curious because I've seen people ask about the five-time prism. Is that back now? Or I know that the five-time prism. Yeah. Yep. So we're, we're still doing the SLX 5X prism. Okay. Um, I know it was out on the website for a little while. Um, if it's not back already, it will be soon. I know okay. we're. Yeah, I, I definitely have been a fan of this setup. Three ALX. Like, with yeah. the twelve o'clock, I know there's there's been some stuff out there with the twelve o'clock. Like, oh well, you know, there was a. I haven't tried it. Yet, it was done where it bent. Yeah. And the guy uh, dropped it on it. It's designed to do that, so it absorbs the shock. Exactly. And yeah. the shock doesn't go into the primary. Or it doesn't shatter the, any of the glass either. It's absorbing yep. it. Exactly. Oh, gotcha. Exactly. I appreciate it, Stephen. Thank you, man. I know you've probably been, you know, saying this over and over, but oh, that's all right. You guys have been uh, one of my favorite, you know, optic brands. I need to get a new. Uh, I need to get a new. You can't see that, but it's covered up. <laughs> but I need to. Uh, you guys have been always supporting the channel as well, so I appreciate it, and um, looking forward to seeing some of this you know get my hands on some of this down the road as well so yep. great I job it, great man. job yep. yep always following you on social stuff. i appreciate it appreciate it man. thank appreciate you thank you. you all right y'all so we're down here with oracle arms with the 2311 last year i was not at a shot show but i was watching it and i saw you guys reveal it at the time it was kind of like coming into production like right it was kind of yeah, early on in. That we had here last year were mostly prototypes they weren't our like full production capability guns yeah uh they were something so that we could shoot and debut to you guys uh, a few months later Later, after SHOT Show last year, we went into full production, started selling guns and getting them out to customers. Gotcha. Uh, so these are these are the models that we started with last year. Uh, we, we since released a new model, which we can get to. This is our 2311 Compact. Uh, most of you already know this is compatible with the SIG P320 magazines. Uh, we sell them with our own, but they're cross compatible. You can use our magazines uh, with their guns, and you can use those magazines with our guns. Gotcha. Beyond that, it went fully ambidextrous. We've got ambi uh, slide release, ambi safety, and then the magazine release is user swappable from side to side gotcha. if you're a lefty and, and need to Optics. use that. So, uh, what is it, RMR or? What? So we ship it with four optic, or I'm sorry, four total plates. So it's oh, wow. going to come with the iron sights affixed. Okay. Uh, in addition to the iron sight, you're going to get an optic plate for the RMR, RMSC, and Delta Point Pro. Gotcha. All of them, like you see here, have integrated rear sights.
seats. Wow. So that you've got backup Good. irons I like even that. while you're using your iron I like that. I'm, I'm weird about, I still like my iron at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a reliability. Yeah. If that dot ever goes out, you want to know you've got something you can still accurately point your gun. And for someone that's probably the first time seeing it, which I doubt they will, they've probably seen this before because this gun's, in my opinion, been one of my favorite I've seen. But what is this, a race gun, duty so gun? So no, so we it's built these to, we built these guns to be duty guns. So the company, the guys that developed this gun, we've got, we've got a diverse bunch of backgrounds. So we've got military, LEO guys, myself, uh, Johnny. Johnny's both military and he also is a competition race gun guy. Gotcha. So we wanted to have sort of race gun performance out of a gun that's duty rated. So these are all, uh, all of our base model guns uh, come NIJ certified. So they've been drop tested and they are NIJ certified to be put into duty use. Okay, gotcha. And these triggers, what, are these are all own triggers? Yeah, so we make, we make the triggers, uh, the, the standard 2311 and the 2311 compact ship with a, uh, a roughly four pound trigger. Yep. I'm gonna try to pull this here if you wanna see. Yep. It's got a really short pull. I didn't even see your finger move. <laughs> yeah, right? And then a really short Ooh. reset. Yeah. And then re-pull. So, uh, yeah, we did a lot so that you could impart your will into the gun really easily there. And, and Mike said that the compact, um, the frame stays the same, the slide is shorter. Was that what, he, what it was? Yeah, so if you move around here the table with me. So, uh, you can see here we've got these two side by side. So okay. this it's is a, this is our full size model. Okay. This is a compact model. You can see it's a four and a quarter inch barrel and frame next to the full size. Gotcha. You've got the option now. This is something new for this year that you can see here. This is the compact plus. Okay. So the grip modules between the compact and the full size are actually the exact same length. The difference being on the full size we have the full size magazine well. And on the compact, you have a compact magazine well. So it's, it's actually the same grip module. Gotcha. Now these are the newest models here for uh, that we've come out with. I see ports. I these see, are the I compact see. pros. So with the compact pro, you can see here that we've recontoured the slide. This particular model has a ported barrel. You'll be able to get it in ported and non-ported barrel. The compacts, you can see we went with that gray. Jesus, popped out. Strong. That's it. So we use a gray grip module now uh, to designate the compact pros, and they will also ship with the extended magazine release. The newest thing that nobody's seen before SHOT Show are these plus kits. So with the plus kit you can add, these are the same model gun, the same grip module. Again, the difference being one's got the compact uh, magazine well and the other one's got the full size mag well. So depending on how you like the feel in your hand, you can have the, the larger grip. So it's more of like a commander model style. Got you, got you. Yeah, I like this. So um, what is the MSRP on these right here? So MSRP on this would be uh, $21.99. Okay. If you move up to the plus kit, so you're gonna get uh, oh, this is the Compact Pro. This is the Compact Pro, Compact okay. Pro Plus. So the Compact Pro is $21.99. If you want to move up to the Plus, you get uh, five of the 17 round mags. This one comes with five of the 15 round mags. Okay. And this is $22.49. So $50 more to have the extended mag well and bigger magazines. That's not, a, that's that's pretty easy. Right, right. <laughs> Got yep. you. Okay. And um, are these available now? Yeah, you can go to the website right now. They're not in dealers yet, uh, but you can go purchase direct uh, through our website. Uh, it's Right now it's oraclearms.com. Uh, coming soon, we're gonna be shifting our branding over to oadefense.com. So you're gonna want, in the very near future, you're gonna wanna go to oadefense.com. Uh, we're changing the brand, we're changing the name. We feel like it's gonna better encompass some of our new product lines. And you already kinda got that going with the logo right there, right? You got it. That, and that's the, logo, the new logo? Yes, sir. Okay, got OA you. Defense. Got you, got you. Well, Oracle Arms, stay okay. tuned. We got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, one of my favorites from last year, and once again, one of my favorites for this year. Thank you. Thank appreciate you, Scott. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I appreciate you. you.